Hello, this is and welcome back to another very interesting video, because today we're going to be interviewing Shishira Nkola, I know I said that wrong, so I'm really sorry, but this actor, or stunt performer I should say, he did the role for the third Tim and T movie for Michelangelo, and also did the role for Leonardo and Venus in the Next Mutation show, so um, yeah. Alright, yes, okay, well, I am uh, Datu Shishira Nkola. I played the uh, Michelangelo martial artist in the Ninja Turtle 3 and also did the TV series uh, uh, for uh, Ninja Turtles uh, Next Mutation. I also played the girl there, the Venus. <laughs> so, yeah, I have been a martial artist for the longest time and I do Arnis Kali Skrima, which is very much like nunchucks. Eh? Wow. So, that's why. You know, th this this works like nunchuck, but there's no there's no uh, string in between. This is actually safer than nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow. This is the national sports of the Philippines. So as you can see, I am wearing my uh, costume, my green costume, because uh, since uh, becoming Michelangelo. I get uh, invited to several uh, occasion and. You know, thank to Michelangelo. Now I can travel and I can say hello to everybody. <laughs> you know, I actually have a new book coming out it's called "The Man Behind the Shell." It's about the story of me becoming Michelangelo and the things that I do now. So hopefully, it's going to be out soon. And wow. so, that basically, I do is uh, you know, from martial art, you know, to film and television, and then. The opportunity came uh, for uh, the third turtle. Because <laughs> Michelangelo got hurt, the second turtle. He broke his leg, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> and so there was a search of uh, Michelangelo. And I'm the last one to get audition. Because I don't believe I'm going to, you know, uh, there's a turtle. Because I got audition in Vancouver. They started their audition from Los Angeles to New York to, to Toronto. And then I'm the last guy in Vancouver. But uh, <laughs> somehow, you know, <laughs> it's for me. So <laughs> I, got, I got the part. <laughs> um, yeah. okay. and, and because you've been doing some performing, uh, how did you become like, a stunt performer? Oh, okay. Well, I uh, wrote the book about uh, Bali song, Butterfly Knife, uh, in the 80s. And I have a video of it as well. So at that time, uh, Hollywood is going to Vancouver to film all the you know different uh, shows. And uh, they're looking for someone who knows about Butterfly Knife. So they found me. <laughs> so the choreography for Airwolf 2, you know, and then I did MacGyver show, uh, 21 Jump Street, uh, Dark Angel with Jessica Alba. So since uh, becoming choreographer, I got into the stunts. And then, you know, I thought, oh, I can make a living doing this. <laughs> so I actually enrolled in school to do producing and uh, directing and writing. But my kids now are better than me on that one because now they are professional actors and the producer and director. I'm the accidental one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, things, uh, I guess... When you, you know, when you desire something, because, uh, you know, since uh, I did martial art then, and uh, I got uh, invited to a television show and do some in the back, I went back to the Philippines. So I had some uh, experience for in film television. Then when I moved to uh, Vancouver, Canada, the Hollywood North is building their studios there. And uh, I have a club there, martial arts club. So I also started a stunt team. Wow. And uh, now I just want to produce my own show because I am tired waiting in line to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I become an 
I can only get a job as a turtle now. <laughs> wow. Um. So yeah. Um. So and uh. And with the micro, um, how did you find out about the role? Well, what happened is uh because of my connection in my area in uh, Vancouver, uh, they are looking for short martial artists that may be able to do a backflip. <laughs> well, except for the backflip part, yeah, I can, you know, I'm short, I do martial art, and, uh, you know, I'm already in the film industry. So, and Ernie Reyes, uh, he was the Donatello in the Kino. I doubled for him. And so, you know, I got some good word out there because I actually failed the first audition. <laughs> I I don't even believe I'm going to be, I am in the, you know, the Ninja Turtle audition. <laughs> I cannot believe they're in town and, you know, wanting me to audition. I just cannot believe I will even, I'm even in a turtle audition, never mind winning the audition. <laughs> and so that's why I'm writing the book. You know, the book is about, you have to uh, believe in yourself. You have to be proud of what you do and uh, do not take things for granted. You know, yeah, there is, a, you will probably have one chance. So, you know, you have to train, try train your mind, train your body, train your whatever skills you're doing. Be the best of what you're doing. And, you know, people, once I've been doing it now for 50 years, <laughs> I'm 69 <laughs> years old. <laughs> so I must be good in already in what I'm doing. <laughs> wow. So that, that's my that's my message basically to to everyone is just uh enjoy what you're doing, be good in what you're doing and share it. Share it to the world. And what was the auditioning process like? It's uh you know, obviously they're looking for you know someone that is uh that can fit you know, uh, that role and uh, the mutant is a small guy. You know, I'm 5'2 and a half, 5'2 <laughs> and a half. So I'm pretty short and, uh, you know, I'm pretty agile. I can do, so they ask you to do your martial art. They, you know, they, you kind of walk like a turtle and you know, except for the, the acrobatic part, I'm not acrobatic at all. I don't know how to do backflip. <laughs> and so when they asked me to do a backflip, I said, oops, uh, the ceiling is too low. <laughs> and uh, when they gave me a second chance to audition, I hired three people to help me to do backflip. <laughs> I cannot do it. <laughs> Imagine doing, you know, one week, you know, to do, you have your shell, you have your, you know, your turtle hand, and then you have a head as well, and you're gonna do a backflip. And I said, "You must be crazy." <laughs> but everybody, you know, in uh, big news in my small town that I'm being auditioned to be a Michelangelo. So there's a lot of pressure in me to be able to do, you know, to do a good job because they basically gave me one week to prepare and go to uh, Hollywood to do the final audition. So, yes, you know, I basically killed myself, you know, training to be, <laughs> and I die. <laughs> Seventh day, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I'm so <laughs> tired. <laughs> and uh, that's why, you know, I believe in the inner training. Relax the mind, do not push too hard, and, uh, you know, try to find limit and balance in your training. Because, you know, our body is, uh, we're not machine. Even machine gets tired, <laughs> overheat. <laughs> so, yeah, I do meditation, I do yoga, I do heartfulness. And uh, that's where really my strength comes from. Because when I was already sick, that seventh day, I cannot do anything. I was even coughing. <laughs> they sent me, I was flying to, you know, to, to Los Angeles. And they pick me up with their limousine. 
you know, I was like coughing like crazy and I just pray that please do not cough too much because they might think I am sick, <laughs> which is I am sick. And, uh, you know, they I met everybody in Hollywood. I was so nervous and uh, I just pray. You know, to God, give me only half an hour, half an hour only <laughs> to be strong. <laughs> and uh, yes, I got that half an hour. And the first thing I did, I was doing backflip. <laughs> I said, oh, I was bunga. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they already said, hey, that's the man. That's Michelangelo. I said, Kawa bunga. <laughs> it all paid off after a while. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Um. So, uh, it's you... amazing. Job. Um. So, yes. You, um. And they were known to be like quite heavy. Um. Was it quite difficult to like work with the suits? <laughs> it's not only heavy. I cannot even see. <laughs> it's fifteen pounds heavy, and I have to do you know fighting and moving in that suit forever. Yeah, I almost had a you know heat stroke in that tattoo. <laughs> it's uh you know it's not easy to wear that suit. It's very uncomfortable. But now I actually have it here with me. I have to take it with me, you know, everywhere because everybody remembers my head. <laughs> Never mind me. <laughs> so I always carry my head. I lost one already, so I'm gonna fabricate another one. So. Yeah, it's not comfortable to be in that suit. It's a 15 pounds heavy. <laughs> it's very hot. It's almost like three layers of a uh, wetsuit. Eh? <laughs> um, so, um, so, and um, um, and because uh, with the talking scenes, you had to work with um, you had to work with another actor to do uh, the voice. And um, was it quite easy to work with like with, work with the other actors um, to do those scenes? Yes, uh, those we are the action turtle, so we are like uh, the all the action we do, and then the talking turtle, they just sit down, <laughs> and <laughs> it's uh, you know animatronic. So you know, they have the computer guy that oh that move them out. <laughs> they have sixty pounds uh turtle suit because it has radio in the inside the you know the the shell. So they cannot do much except, you know, <laughs> sit down, walk around a little bit, sit down. So they don't have it easy either. But, you know, they are they are the actors inside the suit, you know, so. <laughs> um, and because you already mentioned um, it's quite hard to see out the suits, um, like, and where about some suits was you like, looking out of? Well, you know, I look in my mouth. I have to open the mouth key underneath. <laughs> and uh, when uh, when when uh, the camera is closed, they pull the uh, you know the the eyes. They pull it so that I can see you know from underneath it. Hmm. Yeah. Mm so out and then underneath the eyes it's a huge eyes <laughs> so they, you know so at least i can see who's punching me or so <laughs> so with the movie you got to film on like a few different locations but do you have like a favorite like, favorite location you got to work on location we shot in uh you know in uh uh it's at salem salem oregon it's a big hangar big airplane hangar we turned it into uh uh like uh, japan so i think i have that i have some pictures here for those hangar oh yeah this one here this is if you see those houses oh yeah uh, that's out that's outside but inside we uh created uh like the palace yeah these are the Oh, yeah. Those are the outside sub village, Japan village. Yeah, it's in Oregon. Oh, okay. Well, my favorite place is, of course, uh, that place in Oregon. Uh, because uh, just it's a for me, it's a it's a big show. 
It's a history for me. I got discovered there. <laughs> and uh, Vancouver is a good place. Uh, I kind of like it better than Los Angeles just because, you know, I I know uh, Vancouver uh, and it's uh, there's a lot of mountain, there's ocean. It's not as busy as like Los Angeles. But I'm also going to Toronto. Uh, I'm doing my own TV series about uh, Arnis TV. And then, you know, we're working to make this into a movie, Man Behind the Shell. So I will be in Toronto. And I kind of like Toronto as well. They have lots of studios and, uh, you know, lots of uh, great people there. I, you know, New York is too big for me. LA is too big for me. Though I'm in Virginia now, I kind of, you know, settled down here in Virginia. I am creating. If you ever come to Virginia, hopefully next year, I will have my turtle gallery. <laughs> yeah. Nice <and> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So come on down and you're welcome to, you know, stay in our, uh, you know, Turtle Gallery in a community. I'm building a community. It's a martial art yoga community. Ooh, sounds great. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also Philippines. Of course, I come from the Philippines. So I thought I should, you know, whatever I'm doing here in North America, I like to be able to share this to where I come from. So I'm also building a community there. A self-sufficient educational martial art community. And do you have a favorite scene they filmed in the movie? Do you have favorite scene? Oh yes, of course. You know, my favorite scene is when we were like uh you know facing all those uh you know samurai and we're doing fight scene, all that. And uh that's the only backflip I did. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, I'm killing myself to do a backflip, and I only did it once in a movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I always look at the, oh, did I really do that? <laughs> because, uh, you know, I keep doing it, especially in the suit during rehearsal. And, you know, my my hand is already getting getting closer to my head. <laughs> I'm landing in my head already. <laughs> so lucky. In the scene, I just did it once, and uh, it was good. <laughs> so that that is re remarkable. Uh, rem you know, uh, very hard to do. <laughs> I said, "Did I really do that?" And then every all my friends now, "Oh, can you do a backflip?" I said, "You're right." <laughs> I said. You know, put me, put me in the hand, uh, in in the in the wire. I'll do a backflip for you. <laughs> it's it's not easy. To, I used to do it. You know, I become good at it at one time, but uh, you have to practice it every time, eh? And mm -hmm. since I was traveling, I cannot practice my acrobatic anymore. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I was at one point. I feel so excited. I did a backflip. Oh man, I was like landing in my head sideways. <laughs> it's there is, you know, there's a mat in the in the in the school. So I said, Oh, what happened? I was even surprised myself because I thought, yeah, hey, that's I, I can do that, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have to be careful. We have to train. Don't do anything, you know, drastic because you know, they're in the in the uh, TV series. We have uh, some turtles that get hurt. That's why it's not easy to be an action turtle because you know he did a backflip, but he did not. Uh, you know, he did not. I think that was Raphael. Yeah, in the turtles, um, the next mutation. Uh, we're like so behind behind schedule, so everybody's pushing. <laughs> And uh, he did a uh, layout, but he landed on his head. And I think he becomes short. <laughs> <He> becomes short. <laughs> and the second turtle, Michelangelo, broke his leg. So, so it's so close. 
<laughs> um, so with the next mutation, um, um, with, with the whole like film process, because you was playing Leonardo Venus, um, was it like quite a like similar process to working on the movie? Um, TV series is another, you know, another. It's like a factory. <laughs> it's not like a movie where, you know, we have three hundred, you know, production people. I have probably, I probably have three star, you know, like somebody helping me put my suit on, all that. In the TV series, I'm lucky to have one person to help me. I have to put my suit. On. Oh, come on, your your turn now. Go. I said, no, oh, wait a minute. I just finished. I'm just taking it off. No, your turn now. So we are like. You know, I have, uh, luckily, because I have 48 uh, series contract, luckily 24, we shut down already. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are so tired and so, you know, over budgeted. But it still hit the number one show for, you know, for that, uh, for that time. And then we have a strike because uh, all the talking turtle. You know, they said, hey, wait a minute. We are supposed to be making more money, you know, because the Americans, they, you know, they uh, uh, they go to Canada. So they get a cheaper, cheaper uh, price and also non, non-union rate, you know, for the for the actors. And so they complained that, hey, you know, we are getting paid non-union and this is supposed to be a box office show. <laughs> so they shut down the whole, the whole series. <laughs> so I said, oh, great. Now I can be out of my suit. <laughs> so for a while, I don't want to see that suit for a while. I just become a trainer. I was just playing golf <laughs> in Florida. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Um. So, um, and because you did play both uh, Leonardo and Venus, uh, did you prefer to like? Um, did you prefer to do like one character or the other? Actually, I was the senior turtle there. Of course, uh, Larry Lamb and uh, I think uh, Larry Lamb played uh, in the second turtle. He came, and then uh, Hosan. Uh, I think did Hosan come? Uh, Stephen Ho also came. He played the uh, uh, Donatello. Uh, those are the other Toros in the second and the third show. Um, but uh, me, I end up playing different role because they're just, just they're just putting you know bodies after body to the different scene. I even played Splinter at one point. <laughs> As he has to do some fight scene and there was a girl they put in the inside the Splinter and she has to fight. So, hey, sure, get in there and uh, put into the you know, splinter costume. I said, oh, uh, okay. Because <laughs> they pay you good money. The more you work, the more you get paid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that that was, that was, uh, that is, uh, that's work. That's, that's uh, working over time and you know, I, I think we're even shooting day and night at one point to finish that show. <laughs> um, so, and so, and next, and because you uh, worked on both, uh, on both next station and Tales Freeze, um, uh, uh, hang on, um, so, um, um, how did, um, how did you find about the role um, for Next Mutation? Well, because I already, uh, I think I'm the only turtle that was from Vancouver. All the rest are in U.S. and uh, other places. So uh, I got my name out there already. So, you know, I uh, I was already kind of gotten the role. But at the time, I thought I'm going to be Michelangelo. I, 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 you know, I love that uh, character. But they said, oh, uh, Sheer, can you also play Venus? I said, what me gonna be a girl? <laughs> but they paid me good money, so I said, "No worries, <laughs> I'll be anybody." <laughs> um, so, um, and because on uh, the show, 
um, and you was also on like different vehicles. And, and was it quite easy to like to like like to actually go in the like the cars and all that? Yeah, we have you know supposed to be with we have a hammer that kind of thing, and uh, what else do we have? Yeah, I think the the hammer. I you know I feel I actually took a picture of it. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> So yeah, I feel okay with that. You know, I just you just have to kind of, you know, uh, move. <clears throat> so yeah, they make things. Uh, you know, the production was <clears throat> awesome. We it's done in a, a studio, but we actually created the whole, uh, you know, the the sewer, the sewer of New York. We actually built that whole thing in the studio. So including Hickel, all the props, you know, we have the the all the artists, you know, really really good people. And so um so uh, in the uh, photo movie, you had to work with uh, a voice actor on the set uh, for and for doing the speaking scenes. And was it like that on the next mutation scene? Oh, sorry. The 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 turtle three uh was more of a we went back on time to Japan. So, you know, the horses and all that, you know, there's a septic that is like, you know, that takes us on time, all that. So <clears throat> it's uh, more uh, feudal, more in the samurai era. And in the next mutation, it's more like uh, modern, modern time. And we're fighting more like, I think, either like a uh, monster or something that's... Uh, uh more more in the more in the modern time so i like i like the one with the horses <laughs> and so yeah. i i'm the one i want the one who's riding backwards in the movie <laughs> and i keep falling off of the horse <laughs> and they said oh sir get out of there will will you might break your any part of you because, you know, they contracted me for the whole year uh, to play that part. So I cannot get hurt. You know, even when we went inside the uh, burning, burning hats, <clears throat> they have to replace me. They found, found somebody, somebody go there. <laughs> they got another, you know, brave uh, stunt guy to go inside the fire. I said, whoa, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um. So um. So, uh, so, um uh, for... Yeah. Anything dangerous, they kinda you know put me aside. <laughs> um. Do you have a favorite person to work with? Um. Yeah. I always have. You know. We always have time. In fact, before the shooting, we already have like six months in advance. You know, to rehearse, to train, and uh, you know all the. Uh, cast and crew and the stunt guys uh, we already have uh, we have to choreograph I have to help choreograph as well so yeah we become pretty pretty close now I don't see them anymore right? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, but you know for me uh, I get I get it it was great for me to be in the in the movie and to be in the big shows like that but uh, after a while, I felt, you know, I got to do my, I have to follow my my life. I cannot just be, you know, uh, a movie guy because <laughs> it's not real. You know, it's a great thing. It's uh, fantastic. But, you know, I am more like I have projects now for kids up in a mountain in the Philippines. I have project for you know miners who are like uh, you know getting poisoned with all these chemicals. So you know I have uh, you know I have a program for kids to you know develop a skill to develop themselves. So I I more I like to do more things that can help uh, you know especially people that are in need. You know it's not easy to be on top of Hollywood every time because everybody is like, oh, everybody is great. Everybody can do this. Oh, everybody is, oh, I'm, you know, 
it's like it's a race every time and you know if you're not in with a you know good uh you know people production uh director and all that you you're gonna be replaced anytime there's always somebody better than you <laughs> <laughs> for me it's good enough that i'm able to prove to myself that you know i can do it who i am but that's really not the way to live. You know, we cannot be chasing, you know, stars every time. You know, we are the star. You, you are the star. <laughs> and find that uh, joy, that happiness in what you do and become you. You know, let's not, you know, I'm not going to be, well, I'm going to be Michelangelo behind the scene. But, you know, Michelangelo is like, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> no life there. <laughs> um, okay, and um, so and um, um, with um an expectation tells three. Uh, quite a few people are very much uh, like people do dislike it. Um, but because you've worked in projects, do you have like a uh, uh, oh, and, and and because you worked in projects, and do you have oh, and and oh, oh, and, oh, and uh, and do you have like a different opinion yep. on, on uh, like, and uh, and like do you have a different like, opinion on like, on like working on those shows like compared to actually like watching it? Um, are you talking about uh, projects? And um, so uh, um, so because because uh, uh, it was free and excitation people uh, like disliked them, but because you worked on it, do you have like a uh, like and and and, uh, and, and do you have like a different. Like, oh, uh, and and I've oh, never like a different opinion to them because like, cause I know that like you've worked on it and, like, and you have like a different experience to it compared to like, everyone else. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, no, totally. My, uh, you know, me, me, basically coming from the Philippines, going to America, uh, going to Hollywood and all that, you know, it's fascinating. Eh? Everybody wants to become America and become a star and all that, <laughs> but my. My, uh, you know, my professional opinion and my uh, brotherly opinion, it's it's not there. You know, what's important is us. Wherever we are, where we find ourselves to be happy, to be strong, to become who we are, that's where it is. It's not in Hollywood. It's not to become you know, movie star or, you know, this and that, it's empty there. I mean, that's why you can see a lot of movie stars, they, they go cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> they, so much, uh, you know, addiction, so much, you know, uh, depression, so much alcoholism, because it's empty. You know, if we are always looking at outside, you know, and pleasing people, and uh, trying to entertain people, we miss entertaining ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we have to train to be happier, to be healthier, to be stronger. And you don't have to go to Hollywood to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm in Virginia now. See, I have lots of trees. <laughs> you know, I have meditation room here and then I have a training center there. And I don't have to go anywhere. I do a lot of online session. Of course, I got invited to go, you know, several places. But, you know, I try to just kind of stay home and uh, just improve myself. And, you know, this is this is what's real for us. So, but, you know, I did not, I had to go through the hard way. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so fascinated with, you know, uh, superheroes and me becoming a ninja turtle. Wow, you know, I'll do anything. Especially my my son told me, Dad, when I went to audition, do not come home until you get the job. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. <laughs> He's like turtle fanatic, including his underwear is a ninja turtle. turtle. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, the final question is: um, Do you have a favorite turtle? Well, me, of course, Michelangelo. <laughs> no, I like Mikey. Actually, not only me. 
And, you know, a lot of people like Michelangelo because he's a joker. You know, he's kind of fun, kind of turtle. And the other turtle is, uh, you know, rough, is angry every time. The other one is too intellectual. And the other guy is, you know, something else. <laughs> so, you know, I like that. I, it's, uh, I really carry that because I'm a fun kind of person. I'm, uh, you know, kind of, and maybe that's, that helped in my, you know, in my uh, audition, maybe that came across to the producer and the director. Because even today, uh, I carry the spirit of Michelangelo, you know, by what I do and what, uh, you know, what I represent. And uh, I am into, you know, helping people, helping, you know, strengthening, encouraging people to become who they are and creating programs. And uh, all my turtle brothers and sisters, uh, yeah, sister, because there's Venus. I think they're still chasing Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, 20, 30 years later, you will always be chasing once that become your direction. Yeah, so we have to chase what's in us. We have to chase who we are. There's a lot of things to know. I did not, me, I'm still trying to improve myself. I'm not good in math in accounting and so <laughs> so now my accountant says oh you gotta do this I said, what you know now i have to learn to be able to do my books and all that <laughs> so there's a lot of things you know that uh, i know that i miss because i'm always running around and uh you know it's time for us to settle down to just relax chill out you know just uh, feel good about to breathe you know, to just enjoy uh, who we are. Because if we don't start now, we're never going to start. <laughs> we're always going to be chasing because we are always like, you know, we're like three, four year old. They run around every time. So sit still, relax, and just breathe. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, so, yeah, um, and that's all the questions I have. Um, I'd like to say thank you so much for doing this. So the fun thing is, um, is there anything you'd like to promote? Oh, okay. Well, like I said, here I'm promoting this stick to be in the Canada sports, US sports, and hopefully someday Olympic sports. Because, but this is padded, you know, it's like fencing. You don't really hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm promoting this because, see, Philippines, where I come from, Basketball is the number one sport. And beauty queen. <laughs> <laughs> and boxing. Because, uh, you know, we have the, uh, we have uh, Manny Pacquiao as a boxer there. But this is the national sports of the Philippines. It's a uh, stick. And I just, I just so happened, I'm Michelangelo. So I thought, okay, there's no string. But this is actually original uh, nunchuck. It was just, you know, modified with a chain. So I am uh, bringing back the tradition of this stick to, you know, to the world. So I started the uh, sports arnis in Canada, USA. So that is one of my big projects. And of course, uh, I have my sustainability. Sustainable mining community in uh, in where I come from, because uh, I I come from that place and a lot of people they're basically uh, mining, you know, and it's so bad because they use all the chemicals and uh, you know you get you poison the earth and you, you also poison yourself. So I created a green brigade. Green Brigade, uh, uh, you know, team that will help, you know, to make these uh, activities into more sustainable, uh, toxic, toxic-free, environmentally friendly kind of uh, livelihood. So, uh, and then tourism. I'm doing a wellness, mind, body, heart tourism in Virginia. Uh, Philippines, Brazil, and uh, hopefully someday 
maybe you never know maybe europe you know i have a lot of good friends i was just in germany about i think about three four years ago we have big group there and uh, i also get invited in england we have uh, another friends there as well so you know that's what i want to do it's just so i want to be able to create like uh, a hub a place where people can train mind body heart get inspired and we needed this more because as you know our world now there's a lot of conflict and i want to be able to promote more peace and uh, for people to be able to do for themselves what they can do for themselves to improve their mind their body and to uplift their hearts wow oh, well, bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> 